Hello, welcome to Pyrex Screencast. In this screencast we'll talk about Pyrex Workspace or how Pyrex is using your uh, hard drive to store different information about ligands and macromolecules. Here I'll be using Pyrex version 0.9.2 and as you can see I have a lots of ligands and macromolecules here. You can use different ways to empty up this uh, workspace folder so you can start with brand new workspace folder with empty ligands and macromolecules folder first let's see where these files are stored if you right click on any of them and select properties you'll see where the path of these files are located here in this case by default Pyrex will use your user home folder and then there there will be a folder called dot Pyrex underscore workspace where all the ligands and macromolecules are stored. You can change this default by going to Edit Preferences and here you'll see a, an option for this workspace folder. You can change this to a brand new different value then Pyrex will use that value next time you restart the Pyrex it will create all the ligands folder and macromolecules folder that will be empty so in that case you can start with the new workspace and start the new project there. So let's go to using the file browser, let's go to C users your user home folder and you'll find this dot Pyrex workspace folder there. There will be a number of folders and files there, so we'll go one by one through each of them to see what they are representing. So first this Etsy folder stores very little small pickle files which store information about the Autodoc element tabs. This is just a helpful uh, option so that we won't need to recompute Autodoc element tabs for each ligand when we load them. Then we have the ligands folder where all the ligands are stored and then we have macromolecules folder where all the macromolecules and docking results are stored. You can see that Pyrex provides a mirror view of this, so all the ligands and macromolecules are the same one as we see here. You can use Pyrex to delete them, or you can use your file browser to go and delete them and rename them the way you want. Then we have this PDB folder. Pyrex uses this PDB folder to store PDB downloaded from the web and then we have this update folder what stores information about updates so when you go to help check for update and install a new update Pyrex will download all the updates and store them there in this case this is just a new source tree for updated version of Pyrex then we have this dot Pyrex underscore perspective version number this file stores the information about different window layout so when you move these windows around and you restart the Pyrex it will remember the location of these windows you can delete this perspective file or go to edit a view reset perspective to reset perspective to this default value here then we have this DB SQLite 3 which is SQLite 3 database file Pyrex uses that to store the information about ligands, targets and docking results. So under tables tab you'll see this information, the table stored in that database. Then we have uh, this preferences file where Pyrex is using all the information that you modify through edit preferences. So when you change the value here, they will be stored in this pr preferences file. Now let's quit Pyrex. This will need to rename this file, this Pyrex workspace file to a different name and then restart Pyrex so it will create brand new workspace for us. And since Pyrex is running and using some of this file, we won't be able to delete this file unless we quit Pyrex. So here I quit the Pyrex and let's rename this to something else. Let's rename it to underscore Pyrex underscore workspace. Now when we restart Pyrex, it will take a couple of minutes for it to start. 
but when it starts we'll see that the under autodoc all the ligands and macromolecules folder are, are empty so this is the way you can uh, create brand new workspace to when you wanna start a new project so here for instance I'll use file import and go to workspace tarble dash remote file to import one of the sample files that comes with Pyrex it will take a minute to download this workspace file that will be basically a sample workspace file with a sample ligand and macromolecule that will help you get started with Pyrex so now this import is successfully completed and you have this brand new ligand folder with this new ligand we downloaded and the the macromolecules folder with the docking results stored there so I hope this screencast was useful please leave a feedback and thank you very much for watching this screencast bye